My name is Warren Scott. I travel around the world and look at different cultures and explore their histories. I find one thing keeps us all together, love for a good time. This is the history of partying. Welcome to Tampa, Florida, land of gorgeous people, beautiful beaches, delicious food, and the largest pirate festival in the world, Gasparilla. Gasparilla is named after the legendary pirate Jose Gaspar. Known to terrorize the waters of Tampa, hide treasures all around, and died a heroic death. You can find a skull and crossbones on almost every street corner. Which brought me to Gaspar's Grotto, an award-winning pirate-themed restaurant just north of Tampa in historic Ybor City. I'm here with Captain Hook of Gaspar's Grotto, and I'm sorry, that is not your real name. Well, it is my real name. Back in the day, I had my own catering company, and I had to go into litigation with Disney, so I changed my name to Mark Patrick the Captain Hook. I was born with the last name Hook, so I just took the whole moniker. The Captain did a pleasure of uh, making us some food today. The first up is his TikTok Croc Wings. Now, Captain, what's in these? Well, these here beauties, they're made with a combination of orange, ginger, and habaneros. I'm gonna dig in. Go for I'm it. I'm have a bite. Okay, this is very spicy, but you definitely taste the orange and ginger in that. It is habanero. Why is it a pirate theme? Well, it is Tampa. Ah, we have the Gasparilla. It's the closest thing in Tampa you ever get to Mardi Gras. Plus, you know, it's just a whole bunch of drunkards getting together to celebrate a fictitious pirate named Gaspar. Oh my God. <laughs> that mean you want some milk? No, I'm good. It's been estimated that a, a, a $20 million increase in revenue comes into Florida, into Tampa, just for Gasparilla and the associated events. I'm gonna try this. And I'll tell you what, if you can fit that in your mind, I'll buy you a beer. I don't think I can. Well, let's, let's do this. Holy shit. That's pretty good. <laughs> There's a lot of debate whether the Cuban was invented in Miami or Tampa. What are your thoughts? Miami can bite me. What's well, all that's left here at Gaspar's Grotto? Chef, thank you very much for having us. It was me pleasure, me fine friend. And in all pirate days, we had a shutter room to say goodbye. <laughs> Let's do it. Cheers, Cheers. me fine friend. On to the next one. Ah. Captain Hook gave us some great insight into the history of Jose Gaspar, but I still have some questions. So I'm going to the Tampa History Center to get to the bottom of this. Digging in more, we come to find out the beloved pirate might not have actually existed. In fact, there is no strong evidence that any pirates inhabited Tampa's Gulf Coast. I've asked me hearty, ring me bell and ask permission to board. Permission to board. Are you a true pirate-loving soul? Aye. Then you may unclass the hook in it. Aye, you scurvy dog. You come into my shop, what you be needing? I'm going to Gasparilla. I need to dress as a pirate. All right, so you want something basic or you want something extravagant? Let's start off with basic. All right. I'm ass, me hearty. How's it Aye. look? Well, the true pirate, you gotta tuck your shirt into your... Tuck it in. All right. To your slots. What's something you would tell first timers going to Gasparilla? Oh, well, I would suggest that you go pirate or you go home. Women's eyeliner, check. Fake gold hoop earring, check. Beads, check. I am officially ready for Gasparilla. Do you know who Jose Gaspar is? Absolutely. Absolutely not. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you know about the legend of Jose Gaspar? Nothing. I don't know. He's a right fielder for the Rays, right? That's right, yes. Right fielder for the Rays. <laughs> Great arm. Do you know the legend of Jose Gaspar? Oh, yes. The invasions, yes. What, what do you know? Jose Gaspar right now is in route and he's coming right down here. He he's gonna head uh, head ashore and then he'll he'll go hit up the mayor and uh, and take the key to the city. 
What's your favorite thing about uh, Gatsbroa? The beads. The beads? The costumes. Yeah. The beads, for sure. The environment. The All right, so what's up with the beads? Apparently, I gotta take my shirt off to get the beads. I heard so. Right? Yeah. You have to show some skin to get some beads? Yes. Okay. And I brought my own so I didn't get arrested flashing my tits. You don't get arrested. You just get like, you know, like frowned upon. Uh -huh. What do you expect out of today and all the festivities? More beads! More beads! More drinks! More drinks! Yeah. Yeah. Beads, foods, rum. Yeah. 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 Drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Vodka. Rum. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pirate. 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 We don't care about the parade. Like it, a lot of people don't even know why the parade exists. We just know that we can come out and we can drink for the weekend. Well, that's it from Gasparilla. Did Jose Gaspar really exist? Probably not. But does Tampa know how to party? Absolutely. <laughs> Join us next time on the History of Partying.